mysterious lunar ripple seen quite often as for me around the moon as uh, throughout the years I've caught it sometimes once a year once every two years is it a force field is it something coming from something further out in space like a fast radio burst an event like two neutron stars colliding Betelgeuse a supernova, a supernova we don't know but it's something rare enough to capture and this is a double lunar wave but I want to share with you what's on the moon and in the atmosphere especially hundreds but on top we don't see that dark light so here's a stationary ufo i'm outside and i ran outside without the tripod as usual because i was noticing the flashes of lights around this object so this object is stationary okay and not only is it going to disappear and go away like you've never seen it before it's not like a regular satellite moving by you saw the tree stationary it's just sitting there it's impossible and then it's going to take off like it's doing right now which i've showed at least four or five times with the infrared and split in two oh, the tree stationary it's just sitting there it's impossible and then it's going to take off like it's doing right now which i've showed at least four or five times with the infrared and split in two now watch this guys it splits in two literally splits in two and you can see two intense lights just at the very last frame when it disappears if you want to see more research like this, keep coming back. Want to see more UFOs leaving? Check it out. I got tons of them. Here's another one. And hazes. Here's one that was <laughs> uh, pretty cool. And we'll also see a stationary one too leaving right in front of me. Uh, or did we see that at the beginning? Oh, yes, we, we saw it. Um, wow. So much to see in this video. But check it out. UFOs and satellites are very different. And the UFOs slow down and... Um, stick around and look at this one's going to leave not sideways but it's going to go out really fast at one point now there it goes we're just gonna see it go out and that's you know not seen with the satellites because satellites keep the same trajectory as they're going across the sky and in general the same speed here in infrared we're jumping back and forth sorry or maybe some of you appreciate it not to get bored with the moon this is infrared i'm not bored um something coming into the atmosphere and beside, um, I believe this was what, I'm not even sure, Sirius, I believe, I'm not mistaken. And look at that object come in, um, either sublimate. You, you know, you learn a basic, it's not hard when you uh, study asteroids, here's Jupiter and uh, an anomaly. You know, um, substances like asteroids, meteors, they sublimate, they change. They go from substance to gas when they go beside the sun. So. I don't know. I imagine when they enter atmospheres of these planets or stars, like Jupiter, for example, here, this is a pretty cool anomaly. And you see all the moons around Jupiter, some of them anyways. So we're just going to get in real um, close to that object because most objects are just flashes, right? So you'll see just a spot. But sometimes you actually see what looks like um, an object, like here, right? So these are appearing really, really fast. The camera's picking them up obviously not picking them up properly and but hang on you know sometimes they really do pick them up you know uh these objects are so bright so the camera definitely captures it right away but as you can see there's some uh round object with another field that seems it was underneath it and ufos all over the skies in montreal here's an explosion i was forgetting about this one i only showed it once and uh, yeah, it's an explosion out in space further out. I'll get an arrow up and pass it two or three times. I see it well, and you'll see a yellow flash that appears um, in front of this object, directly aligned with this object. Now, don't forget, it seems pretty far out, that object, but oh my goodness, did you see the flash it does in the sky? Straight across. Now, there's reasons for all of that, and that's what I'm studying. Not easy to know exactly what we're looking at all the time, but just, it doesn't matter. Just look at the beauty of it all uh, without even knowing what we're looking at. So there it is, close up, get ready. Boom, that light that was flashing was two objects. So many objects uh, hit the moon and I was really lucky enough to keep I've been really excited about the Jeremy Corbell's chandelier from the 218 video. I'm anxious for him to show it, if he will at all, if, if he will get the chance. Uh, well, him, the government, if they allow it to come out but this is the same one but you can see that 
when that object came down to me from the sky with the red and the yellow, it was beautiful. But the center part flashing was flashing sometimes alone. And you could see the other elements illuminating sometimes um, around it. This is pretty incredible. The object was absolutely see-through. So I interact with the skies. You want to see more action and more events. I'm, I'm sharing my personal events here at home with you all. Thanks for coming back and watching. Space is not what they told us it was. It's not even as scary as people think it is. Thinking all these reptilians are driving around, you know, eating us and whatnot. What about these completely beautiful expanding and contracting jellyfish that are in the lunar atmosphere? I think they're trying to scare people and not tell them the truth. Jeremy Corbell mentioned a jellyfish hours after I posted this and showed people. I showed this three years ago, didn't make much of a stink about it, but I found this three years ago, filmed it three years ago, and there's more and more that I can film in the atmosphere. Want to see more videos like this? Keep supporting the channel. Thank you. It was incredible. Hours after, and I have witnesses, some of you here, after posting the jellyfish video, they came out with the jellyfish, UAP, and all news media were talking about that. Was it to re deflect what I'm showing? I'm positive it was. And then Jeremy Corbell showed this, the chandelier UFO. Well, the chandelier UFO is also the one that I just showed you, pretty sure, that landed uh, close to, uh, to me and came down 15 feet from me, but I filmed it with the infrared camera, and what you're seeing here is the heat signature image. So more to come.